ask yourself, is this what I want to be? This. Is this all I've got? Is this everything I can give? Is this going to be my life? And do I accept that? You have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this. Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my, my eyes and my body light up about things, because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the fuck is in front of you. But you have to have the will, the heart, the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. You have nothing left to give and give more. I started learning the mind a lot, how to get myself jacked extremely fast, like in a horrible environment when everybody's miserable. I learned how to really find strength in the misery when everybody's suffering, everybody's all poopy pants and their mentality's down and everything. I started just like, my God, this is where I shine. And I started using all that misery for tons and tons of tons of drive and motivation to, to, to then lead people further. Because you can get a lot of power through misery. And once people see that, my God, God is just going. Then everybody says, Roger that. Let me get my shit and go too. So I started realizing that if you can just find strength just a little bit longer, you will have a crew of people following you along the way. Lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? Question yourself. Question yourself every day. Ask yourself, who am I? What am I doing to improve myself today to get better, faster, stronger? healthier, smarter. You just got to take that first step. And that first step is when you begin to ask those questions. Ask the hard questions. And ask the hard questions of yourself. And in the answers to those questions, is where you find that path. The path to progress. And the path to freedom. Inside your mind. The path is how you are going to live. Th that's not necessarily a destination. That you could you could follow the same path and get to a bunch of different destinations but the path itself of how you're going to live how you're going to go through life how you're going to do things that's that's what i'm talking about and even the path that i'm on could have led to other things in in my life and even though you know i was in the military for 20 years i'm not in the military anymore I'm still on the same path. Like the path is the same of the way I'm trying to live my life. That's the same. And if I'm in, when I'm in business, the way I, the way I run my business, I'm trying, I'm just on the same path. It's so the path, it's like the way you're living your life more than anything else. And it doesn't matter if you're in college, if you're starting a business, if you're working for someone, the, are you on the path that you're supposed to be on? Are you living the way that you feel you're supposed to live, that you know you're supposed to live? I think people get off that. They get off that and they're not living the way that they know they should live. Regardless of circumstances, we all, we all go into situations where things just went sideways. 
and and you can either stray off the path and turn into something that you're not or something that you know you shouldn't be or you can stay on the path you can continue to do the things that you're supposed to do and do and live the way that you want to live you know what the right thing to do is right you know what you're supposed to do as a person as you you know what you're supposed to do do it do that thing what is that thing that you're supposed to? you know you're supposed to live a certain way and when, and when you don't live that way there's there's friction and there's tension and there's disruption and it doesn't feel right and when you live the right way it's often harder it often is less immediate gratification but the but the internal gratification that you get from living the way you're supposed to live is very satisfying you got to know what your goals are you got to have them clear and then you got to have a relentless pursuance of the aim that's how you get things done it needs to be a clear goal what does that mean is that a certain amount of running is that a body weight that you're trying to reach a strength goal what is that goal do you write it down do you know exactly what it is and is it clear aggressiveness is so important it has to be balanced but man it has to be there that aggressiveness has got to be there knowing what your aim is and then this relentless pursuance of this aim and getting aggressive as you pursue that aim can you see how how important those are as you develop your plan to become a better person i've been traveling a bunch lately and guess what sometimes i'm in a hotel room and i got to get creative on how you know aggressively pursue my aims that means i got to do you know maybe my workout is 300 burpees that's it boom no squat rack there no pull up bar no rings no row or nothing no kettlebells no but that's just being creative and aggressively adapting to the situations that you get put into i started figuring out more and more and more and more about at the other end of suffering is a life that no one and i'm not talking about go out there and kill yourself i'm not saying do what i did i was in a spot that life forced me i had a choice I had a choice to be this guy or the guy that's in front of you. I had choices. I chose this path. You do hard things. Things that are challenging. Things that are tough and then you get tougher. You don't quit. And if you know if you know you won't give up and you know you won't give in and if you test yourself and you fail but you know you're going to get back up again if you know that if you know that then you know that your character is strong and that's what matters and that right there is all the confidence you need